What's up guys and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Man, does it feel good to be back in the cockpit and uh, check this out today. We are on the good old George HW. We're on an aircraft carrier just off the coast of Key West and uh, we've got uh, a bit of an old bird today, but definitely a very special one. This is where vertical takeoffs and landings started. This is the Harrier. Technically, it's the Harrier AV-8B2. Basically, the Harrier started as a concept in the UK, and then it ended up being kind of a joint venture between the UK and the US. UK kind of stopped development on it. The US liked it, so they continued it. They improved it. They added extra weaponry and stuff to it. It's the originator of vertical and short takeoff and landings. Like the, the F-35 back here behind it, that would not exist without this. This thing pretty much walked so the F-35 could run. Honestly, just a really weird looking plane. Like, first of all, look at the intake here, the giant gills on each side. Like, th this thing sucks. Like, literally, a lot. It's It's got a lot of sucking power. What really makes it special are these guys right here. It's got four vectorable nozzles, two on each side, and these are controlled by this lever right here. So if we pull this down a little bit, you can see that put them to 45 degrees. I've got it mapped to my thrust lever here so we can kind of move this around. This is where you direct the airflow, and this is how you can take off fully vertically in this plane from the 80s. Also, like I said, it's just kind of a, a weird looking plane. I don't know, like it's it's got like hunched shoulders, the way the little stubby wings come down. I feel like half the plane is that intake. You've got like the, the big gear down here, the big double gear, and then the little tiny ones on the sides and then the one up, like it. it's just a really odd looking plane, but it was groundbreaking. It still is groundbreaking. It's still in service today, although it will be retired here pretty soon. It's it's kind of in the process of being retired for the F-35 Lightning II, but uh, kind of exciting. Let's take off. Let's talk about it. First thing we want to do is we want to put the flaps into stall mode. Short takeoff and landing. That's going to put the flaps all the way down. We want everything down towards the ground. We're going to make sure that our uh, vectorable nozzles are at 98 degrees. So those are going straight down as well. Technically, I think we probably could go to like 96. Sometimes it likes to go backwards. I mean, maybe we want, we want, we'll, we'll try straight 90. We'll keep it right at 90. We also want to turn the water on, master arm, the V-stall mode. And now we are pretty much good to go. So if we add a little bit of power, she should start to lift off. We're going to see if we can get her up in the air. Keep in mind, again, this is a plane from the 80s, baby. She is old school. And there we go. Just a straight up vertical takeoff. Now, I couldn't do this with a full ordnance package and everything else. But look at this. This old bird from the 80s. She was kind of the, the concept. She was the proof that vertical takeoff and short takeoff and landings were possible. And uh, wow, that is pretty cool. So now that we're up here and we're hovering above the deck, what we're going to do is we're going to start to, to vector a little bit forward. So you can see we're going to start kind of moving forward. I'm going to give it full throttle. So we keep going up. We definitely don't want to end up falling here. And what we want to do is just continuously move this forward a little bit. Let's go ahead and put our landing gear up. Looks like our nose is looking a little, a little high here. Landing gear's up. We're going to keep moving this forward. We're going to keep adding speed. Obviously, we don't want to end up stalling this thing. But eventually, we should be able to go all the way forward, get those things all the way fully sideways, and all of a sudden, we have just a normal aircraft. Again, kind of a, a funky looking aircraft. Oh, 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 hold on, Trev. Uh, hello, we're, we're gonna be fine. Need to stop talking trash about her. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a funky looking aircraft, but it's, it's a normal aircraft. So let's resume normal aircraft activities. Let's go check out Key West. It's just so weird thinking that all the thrust is coming from these four nozzles on the side of the plane. Most planes, you're getting it from the very back. It's gonna be coming from back here, but here, I mean, a lot of your thrust is coming from more forward than the middle of the plane. It's just kind of a weird thing. So yeah, like I said, this plane was introduced in the 80s. It's still in service today. It was used a lot by the USMC, the US Navy, the Royal Navy, Indian Navy, Spanish Navy, all kinds of stuff like that. You know, it kind of specialized in anything from any sort of aircraft carrier or, you know, anything that 
you know, front battle lines, short takeoffs and landings, don't really have like a legitimate big airport like Key West down here below because, you know, that's what made it special. It could take off from pretty much anywhere. It could literally land on a cargo ship container. Welcome to Key West. Hopefully we're going to be back here sometime soon in GTA 6 whenever that ends up coming out. Probably not this year, maybe next year. But uh, we can get a little lay of the land here. Now, the primary roles for this thing, it wasn't really designed for fighting. It was more for, like, close air support, light bombing, reconnaissance, kind of frontline support, stuff like that. But it actually did have some success in dogfighting, even though it wasn't meant to. And part of that reason is because of these things. Like I said, your thrust is coming from here, not from back here. So this thing could do aerial maneuvers and make tight turns that other jets couldn't, that could potentially, you know, put you in an advantageous position in your dogfights. Oh, wow, look at this. I've never flown through Key West. We've got a Carnival cruise ship here and kind of a smaller one there. I'm not sure which one that is, but this, that's pretty cool. Come back around this way. We can kind of test that, that tight turning rate. Wow, yeah, okay. Interesting. So yeah, it kind of pivoted more than other planes would because you've got a, a weird center of thrust going, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I, again, this is just like a really weird stubby little chode of an airplane. It's also notoriously known for being very hard to fly and uh, it, I, it's very temperamental. I, I don't I don't know if I'm loving it thus, thus far. Uh, it's it's upset at me about some. OK, let's let's just make sure we, we keep that intake sucking as much as it can. And let's let's please try not to end up crashing this thing actually you know what i say we try to cover all of our bases here i'm gonna put our our landing gear down we're gonna see if we can land like a normal airplane we're gonna take off again like a normal airplane and then we're gonna try to land on an aircraft carrier i've got a really really fun really cool story when i was doing research for this episode i, I found a crazy youtube video of uh, okay yep she's She's, she's just really weird. It's definitely not my favorite plane to fly. This is not easy. We're, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna go try to land at Key West. I'm gonna try to give us a little bit more time to line it up. We've got another runway over here on the other side of the water, so we're gonna go for that. The speed just seems weird with it. I, it like I said, it's notoriously one of the hardest jets to fly and it, it's making total sense right now, but hopefully we're gonna be able to get this thing down the first time, just like a, a normal aircraft. You can do it, girl, come on. Here we go, coming in. See, we're coming in hot. But I don't want to go too slow because I feel like then she wants to fall out of the sky. We're coming in super hot, but we're also losing tons of altitude. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, God. Okay. Look at that. You know, not the smoothest landing, but we did get it done. And now we could just throttle up, give it all we got. And we could take right back off and head back out towards our... Uh, our aircraft carrier. Let's go ahead and put the gear up. It's just such a weird plane. Look, the, the way the landing gear is, that big middle one, it, it, it's pretty cool. It's just, it's it's so different and so unique. Now this is where things could get a, a little bit crazy and we're gonna see if we can set this bird down. I'm gonna start moving our, our nozzles back a little bit and we're gonna see if we can come in for a vertical Landing. We're going to want to slowly kind of move these down. Our aircraft carrier is directly below us. Hold on. Let's let's go back. Back to plane mode. We're going to come in like a more normal landing, but then we're going to switch to vertical. Just bring her on around here. Start bleeding off speed a little bit. And what we're going to do is hopefully be able... Where's that aircraft carrier? There it is right there. Bring the speed down and then slowly we're going to start vectoring down. So we're going to keep some forward momentum here. We're going to try to come into the carrier for a vertical landing. We're going to see how well we can do this. I think we might have gone vertical a little bit too early, but we're going to be okay. Oh, goodness, dude. This is, this is really not good. We're losing altitude. Come on. A little bit more. We just got to slowly eke it up to the, the actual carrier. But the problem is... is when you're in vertical mode, oftentimes it likes to go backwards. We're currently going backwards. So I'm going to give us like an 80, 85 degrees. How about that? Can we start to go forward a little bit? Now, as we try to land this vertically, I want to tell you guys about Captain William Mahoney in 2014. Why are we going backwards? How is that possible that we're going? Bro, what is this plane? 
Hello? Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to come in from a different angle. We're gonna give it a loop. Dude, we're going sideways. How is this thing real? The fact that this is actually working is honestly really, really impressive. Shout out to every engineer that ever worked on this thing. Let me get us a, a little bit more forward momentum here. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to turn around. It's a nice slow turn here. So uh, Captain William Mahoney. He took off from an aircraft carrier in a Harrier, kind of a normal takeoff, like a, a you know rolling takeoff like we just did. And he realized just after taking off that there was an issue with his front landing gear. Come on, keep the forward momentum, get over top of it. All right, I'm gonna go full 90 here. We overshot it, but that's okay because this thing flies backwards. So if you fly past it, you can fly backwards and you'll be fine, right? I'm not sure if that's how it works, but we're I, it, it really doesn't matter how good it looks. If we can get this thing back on the deck, that's what ultimately matters. So we're gonna go down with the landing gear and we're gonna, we're gonna come in from a side sneak attack angle here. William Mahoney could do a lot better than me, but anyway, yeah, so he, he took off. He realized there was something wrong with his front landing gear, came back, he hovered above the deck in front of the tower so they could take a look at it. They confirmed that it, it you know, it wasn't working, it wasn't coming back down, like that it was stuck in the up position. So he's like, okay, we've got two options here, and now we're going backwards again. Hold on, we need, we need like 83 degrees. Come on, this would be absolutely terrifying, but we're gonna be fine. Just inch forward, inch for, oh, here we go. Okay, now we gotta be ready. Yeah, so he's like, we've, we've got two options. Either you can go hover over the water, eject, obviously the pilot's life comes first, or the engineers on the ship ended up coming up with an idea on what they could do to land this thing. And the idea was a stool chained a stool down to the deck of the aircraft carrier. He flew in, you know, 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet. He hovered 20 feet above it. He couldn't see the stool, obviously. If you're inside the cockpit, you're not going to be able to see directly down. Eventually, they're like, we think you're good here. He's like, all right, screw it. Cut the power to the engines, dropped it down to the vertical landing on the stool, landed the nose on the stool, saved the aircraft, saved himself. Honestly, just really, really impressive when you look at this performance here, it, it really kind of puts things into perspective. I, I'm literally just, just floating. We're going to go to 83. Ooh, that gave us a lot. That gave us a lot. That gave us a lot. We're almost above it. Oh, she's kind of wanting to come down here. Hold her steady, Trev. Hold her steady. Okay. I'm going to give us a little bit less so we can go forward just a little bit. Using the hot key that I have on my, my throttle here makes it a lot easier. Switching back and forth in, inside to show you guys definitely didn't help. All right. Lower. I'm going to see. Let's see if we could actually. Where do we want to land it? Let's land it next to that black F-35. I'm going to bring her around town. Bring her around. Oh, my goodness, dude. This is so terrifying. Okay. Little bit more. Is that a bomb being loaded into the F-35? I feel like this is a bit of a danger close situation. Come on. We're good. Just... A smidge more. <laughs> What'd you do today? Well, I parallel parked the jet in Microsoft Flight Simulator, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Captain Trev is on the job. I didn't know if we were going to make it back, but we got her done. Okay, think, think about that, but think about in real life, your life is at stake, everything, and you've got just kind of a tiny, a tiny little thing, like something like this, that you're going to set your nose on and drop it down. Honestly, I just, that was one of the coolest landings I had ever seen of any military jet or exercise or anything like that. So yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the Harrier AV-8B2 jump jet. Definitely a very cool vehicle. Honestly, just really, really insane to think about the, the engineering and the technology that went into this to make these little vectorable nozzles that you can control the plane and straight up take off vertically, land vertically, do anything you want. And this was kind of the first step that led to a lot cooler tech in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It feels great to be back on Microsoft Flight Sim. We're definitely gonna be doing some more videos. I've got some other jets and things I wanna check out. So if you guys want more, drop a like and uh, I'll see you all there. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.